Hello Capricorn, welcome back to the Illus Illuminator. So let's see what's going on for you guys, what he said, she said. <clears throat> for those who have a personal reading with me uh, and still have not received it, I'm still working on them. The second batch of those personal readings will be done after all the generals are out. So just be patient please. I just had an overload of personal readings and I'm not a robot. <laughs> I can just like, you know, get it out of my sleep like that. So be patient with me. Let's just see what's going on for you guys. Make sure that you follow me on Vimeo. Go to my page on Vimeo to follow me so you know where to find the other messages and other readings. So. You know, if you can't find it down in the description box below because some people cannot find it, just Google it, Vimeo, Realist Illuminator, and you get to the page, all right? So let's see what's going on for you guys. What are the messages for my dear Capricorns? What are the messages for my dear Capricorns? Let's just one more shuffle and then we're ready. What are the messages? This will be the he says, she says spread. So let's just see on which spectrum you are. What's the past energy for a Capricorn? The moon, some secrets, some lies, some deception, some things that may look one way, but they might be totally the opposite way. This has to do with, hmm, tricky. This can be due to something that was not right. Like something happened that was not right. This could have to do with some kind of a commitment, but I'm getting this sense because the Hierophant in the reverse, the Hierophant upright talks about, it's, talk, it's talking about religion. It's talking about being the teacher. It's talking about doing the right thing. And when it's in the reverse, it's like against the grain, like going against the grain. So there is something that went against the grain in this situation that caused either for a lot of illusions or um, some things that were kind of like hidden that were that needed to come out but coming out of some kind of illusion so let's see what this is about because i feel that we just started this like quite heavy energy here something was going against the grain here that's like what i'm getting let's just see something that was not right something was not right is what i'm hearing something was not right something was not how it seemed could also be let's see <clears throat> that's an interesting energy to start off with Cappies. what's going on what are the past energies of the person that we've got the ace of cups in the reverse there could have been some unrequited love situation that was going on someone that did not accept a cup of love or rejected it we have the king of wands in the reverse and the seven of wands in the reverse there is a fire sign uh, in the past that was quite either aggressive or kind of is very pissed off. Um, this is someone that does not want to fight for something. They they are about to let go of a situation is what I'm getting. And that's because they are pissed off. There's, there is someone that is quite pissed off that is also not putting in. Someone that is lazy. You could be dealing with a fire sign that was, could be very seductive, could be a player. Someone that did not fight for a relationship. So this could be an Aries, Sagittarius, or a Leo. They might be minding their own business. I have the Queen of Pentacles there. So for some, this could be someone that is in a marriage. Let's see. What is the current energy for Capricorn? Queen of Wands in the reverse. So now we have a couple here with the Hierophant in the reverse. This is a breaking off a connection, a commitment, and your energy you could be having a fire sign energy that's Sagittarius there's a Leo but this could also be your energy where you're kind of like um both of them are kind of like 
very demanding energies, very aggressive energies, and very mad energy. So both of you could have been not seeing eye to eye. Uh, there could have been a lot of things hidden that both of you are not seeing, or someone was keeping a secret, and the other person, yeah. And you have the strength card. So you don't have any strength to actually deal with this situation. It could be dealing with a Leo individual, um, someone that you're not standing up for um and on the other side they are not standing up for you so there is a lack of chemistry now there's a lack of strength or compassion towards one another you for this person or this person for you but this is in your energy so this is how you feel about the connection that could come from this um place of illusion there could have been a lot of deceptive energy uh going on with that moon card this is not something that you are happy with at this present moment and the strength card in the reverse does go back to the devil energy so that could be also you know that is capricorn but that is also kind of like not being able to get yourself out of a toxic situation whether that is you know within yourself within your mind or within the situation that you are in like not being able to not think about a situation being obsessively thinking about it could also be with that strength card in the reverse that's like being weak towards um, towards it and not having your confidence to be on top of yourself. You know what I mean? Like to rule your own mind, to rule your own needs or your own feelings. You know what I mean? What is the current energy for the person that Capricorn is dealing with? Okay, so... They may feel rejected. They may not feel very happy at this point. They are coming out of something that kind of like hurt them. Um, coming out of a period of sadness and grief where they are either not having any faith in the situation or they're, they're trying to heal a situation by getting out of a situation that was quite saddening so there is a lot of sorrow that this person is trying to get over and therefore they're not being very um you they're not very approachable they're not in a very happy situation or they're just not wanting to accept that accept something that you have to tell them and that's what makes you kind of like pissed off maybe because this person does not want to listen to you they do not want to listen to you and they are not having any faith in in themselves at this point or trying to heal themselves to get out of the situation at this point what is the blockage for capricorn please you have the death card so you are fighting against something that has been you know that that has come to an end and that's like your blockage you you are going through a transformation you know that things are changing and you actually want to go back because that's your blockage you don't want to you know there is something that you're still mad about but something is coming to an end you could have been dealing with a scorpio that scorpio is still blocking your progress in a way that you cannot seem to get over the situation i do have the four of cups here as well so definitely this is you know not being able to understand what really happened and how things just went this way and ended this way and you're just like fighting against it like again fighting against the grain at this point queen of swords well let's just keep it at two there so there's still this feeling of not being happy with the way that things ended that's like what i'm seeing like yeah they have the eight of wands in the reverse so the blockage at this point from their point of view is that there is no communication um and also the eight of wands talks about mercury and sagittarius so there could have been like um a blockage in truthful communication here no movement and they're kind of like could be overindulging at this point or they're kind of like happy with the fact that things have been blocked like th th this is like a smug kind of energy so there something is 
they want to block this communication out with you is what I'm getting here. That's like their wish to block this out. And they do have the King of Swords over here. So they want to, you know, they, they have made up their mind and they do not want to engage at this point communication wise. They're thinking of themselves right now. Nine of Cups is thinking of themselves. Five of Cups is coming out of a place where you feel sadness and grief. And the star in the reverse is also like a healing energy. So, and the King of Wands in the reverse is a very, is an energy of, could be arrogance, could be like thinking only about yourself. What is the hopes? You have the devil in the reverse in your hopes. So you want to, you know that with that strength in the reverse, you keep on crawling back to that devil energy and, and you see the pattern. That's also the moon. The moon is about cycles, it's about patterns. So you understand the pattern of this person having a hold on you um, in some form or way because there are, you know, the chains here. So you know that you want to get out of a toxic situation. You want to put an end to it. You have twice the uh, Capricorn card. So you, you're you going to a major transit at this point. <clears throat> Sorry. You're going to a major transit at this point. And you want to put an end to it. You want to put an end to it. You want to detach yourself from anything that was negative for you. Even if that is just like... Uh, in your mental state, in your emotional state, in your intuitive state, in anything that was toxic for you, you recognize that cycle at this point and you just want to put in all the work to close this chapter off. This is major Saturn. So you've learned some kind of Saturn lesson and that's something that at one point is giving you a lot of frustration. I feel here a lot of frustration, like, you know, deep down inside, you're trying to, you know, pull away that, push away that frustration, but you know it's coming up. And now you're seeing the pattern of where this is coming from. And that comes from something that was not, um, a secret that has not been revealed yet. So that's something that I'm seeing. I do have the King and the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords on your part is on the reverse. So you're ready to close the cycle of two cycles over here with bad intentions. Hierophant and the devil, both in the reverse are bad intention. The Hierophant upright is the teacher. If it's in the reverse, it's something that you need to learn from. What is the hopes for the other person they have the eight of pentacles so they are hoping to work uh maybe putting a lot of energy in their work as i said as well they're working on themselves see i told you they're working queen of pentacles and the eight of pentacles for some this is also saying that they they want to work on some more stability that could be with you you could be the queen of pentacles but i do get the sense that this is like their energy and their focus. And the reason that I say that is because when we were here, I, I, the first card, I said the Queen of Pentacles, they are focused on that because it came with this energy. So it showed itself to me that they are working on themselves and on their own um, stability and creating things, um, nurturing themselves and putting their energy and effort in themselves. So most likely 90% of the people, this is them working on themselves instead of like trying to work on something with you. They're trying to create something. There is also a percentage of people that um, they do want to have a second chance with or have a, another go around, but I do get the sense that they are working on creating something at this point. Uh, you could be working with this individual. They could be around you uh, when it comes to work. You have, see, you have the tower in your fears. So meaning that, you know, the blockage for you was the death card. This is a Scorpio. This is transformation. This is when you know that things can never go back to the way that they were before. And you're kind of like not happy. Um, even though you don't know what is going to come next, you're just not happy with the situation. 
Whereas in your fears, you have the tower. So this is again a change. The, to the tower and the both cards are Scorpio. It's Pluto energy. It's forced transformation. It's like heavy transformation. It's like going into the deep and coming out as, you know, a brand new uh, environment, brand new person, brand new identity. And that's something that you are uh, against that. And that is normal because you are Capricorn. Capricorns are, um, you know, more fixed signs and they do not like change. So these changes that are coming to force you to change is going to feel very uncomfortable, which as the, the tower and the death card are very uncomfortable changes because that is Pluto energy. That is forced transformation. That, that is something that you are the complete opposite with. So feeling those changes or feeling those uh, feelings is actually a normal thing. So you should not think that it's not normal for you to feel that way and that therefore you will always remain in this kind of position. No, that's just, it's against your grain now. Okay, what is going on with the grain? <laughs> Seriously, what is going on with the grain? So you were afraid that, you know, whatever you thought was real with that moon, it's not real and things are just um, changing drastically. There is like a big epiphany coming and the tower is coming down for you where you come to the realization that you've invested in the wrong person or the wrong situation and it's kind of like wasted energy and time. So waiting for someone to come back around and then understanding that it's an ending and then thinking like okay it just wasted my time that's not the way that you should look at it's not the way that you should look at these were saturn's lessons there was something that you needed to learn from this whole situation in order for yourself to move forward what is their fears knight of cups they might be fearing um could be fearing to have romantic feelings for you. Could be fearing that... Hmm. That's the first time I see the Knight of Cups in a fear. <laughs> Ooh. All right. So, something's heavy here. Knight of Cups and the Two of Cups is their fear. Someone is fearing love. That's just what it is. Someone is fearing love. Someone is fearing... This is a, let's see what else comes up. They fear the love. They fear the connection that they have with you. Well, that could be because they are coming out of a period where they have been, you know, very sad. They're coming out of it. So they're, they, they are not, they do not be, they are not, hmm, wow. They're afraid to get love. Like they're afraid of love or being loved at this point we got the emperor as the outside influence someone is being very hard-headed uh someone is taking control over the situation um they're very stubborn but they are also they have all the control in the situation you could be dealing with an aries individual as well or someone that yeah, they control the situation of block communication at this point and you feel kind of like helpless. You feel kind of like helpless and they're trying to get over a situation that was quite burdensome uh, mentally for them and they're trying to heal or balance themselves out. They're trying to balance themselves out at this point. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Sagittarius individual here. Let's see, what is their outside influence? They have the Six of Swords in the reverse, so they might be going back to um, an old situation and they might not be capable of uh, releasing an old situation that was quite filled with conflicts at this point. Do we have something? Ooh, yeah. And the Ten of Swords. So someone is quite... They don't have a very... <clears throat> they have been through a betrayal. Definitely also with the Five of Cups. They feel betrayed. 
um, and they can't seem to find any mental closure, like they can't seem to find something that they can move forward to because there has been like this harsh, abrupt ending. There has been a betrayal from their point of view. Is There is definitely a betrayal. Coming from a third party situation, they're getting out of their mind, they're getting out of their head and they are giving up on a situation. They have been betrayed by a third party is what I'm seeing here. And something is coming to an end, but they, they are they are trying to get over the situation. I do see here the eight, the six, the eight, the nine, the ten, the missing one is the seven. So there has been some kind of a deception that is outside both of you, probably. But there is some kind of a deception that this person is trying to get over. Alright, so I'm going to continue this reading with the Vimeo and I'll see you guys later. Please check the description box below and or just Google it on Google. <laughs> just Google it and you'll find it. Alright, so I'll see you guys soon. Ciao.